Physically, freshman year, I looked a lot different than I do now. My hair was a lot shorter. Um, I didn't really know how to style it. Um, I had six missing teeth. Uh, freshman year, my eyebrows were about twice the size as they are now. And also, I think since my freshman year, I probably put on 15 to 20 pounds, not even just like gained weight. Like I just, I kind of grew into my body. I was shorter, probably. I think my hair was about, was long, it wasn't this long. I was smaller, I was much smaller. And I probably had a lot higher voice. And just looked more like a kid. I didn't have facial hair, that's for sure. I think I've developed like a greater understanding for the world around me. I was just kind of like going about doing whatever. I've changed emotionally in the way that I'm more of my own person now. And I think that's the way a lot of girls are at least because freshman year you are really codependent on your friends and you think that like, I can't go anywhere without my friends. I can't be my own person and now I like, I'm okay doing things by myself. I'm okay going places by myself. Well, when I was a freshman, I was like super shy, and now that I'm a senior, I don't really care anymore. Gotten a lot more goal-oriented and more sure of where I stand on things and what I believe in, so. Oh, freshman year. Okay, honestly, my school pictures have gotten uh, progressively worse throughout the years, so I think this is my best school picture. I'd probably fix my scarf in my hair a little bit. I don't like what I was doing with this clip thing. I would congratulate my freshman self in finally uh, wanting to wear my hair naturally curly like I did. Like that's been a, a defining feature of me throughout the years is my curly hair. Picture? Mm-mm. <laughs> I look so bad. <laughs> okay. Don't pierce your lip. Tweezers are your friend. Don't straighten your hair on hot hum humid days. To not be so naive and to not be so trusting. To my freshman self, try more, go out and try more things. Step out of your comfort zone more. Yeah. I don't even have to look at them to tell you eighth grade was the worst one. There's a really big difference between seventh grade and eighth grade. Uh, my hair changed a lot. <laughs> From seventh grade to eighth grade, I got braces. I was actually kind of adorable in third grade. Well, third grade, you can't really blame me. I was a chubby kid. Fifth grade, I think, is when I started going through my emo phase and it really like came full circle seventh grade. I've lost a lot of weight since middle school. Oh my God, I was fat. <laughs> God, they're all awful. Seventh grade, I think. No, I'm gonna say eighth grade. Eighth grade was pretty bad. I don't know, it's a tough one. I'd probably say ninth, I don't know. What is this, fifth grade? Fifth grade, uh, I don't know, I kind of got that Jay Biebs going on. I feel like my hair is curlier now than it was in fifth grade. Fifth grade because I look too much like Justin Bieber or something. It gets better. You will not stay ugly forever. 